six million eggs, 594 cows, 83 metric tons of fish in five days are enough incentives to attract over 9 million Nigerian children from poor homes back to school. That is the story of President Muhammadu Buhari's administration's social investment program, otherwise known as National Homegrown School Feeding Program. A country struggling to survive after coming out of an 18-month economic recession still spends a whooping 13 billion naira monthly in feeding pupils with the red per child set at 70 naira. The Homegrown School Feeding Program is a program that is aimed at feeding young children in our public primary schools with the aim of improving their nutrition, increasing school enrollment, and reducing the incidence of malnutrition. So far, we are feeding over 9,300,892 children in 49,837 government schools in 26 states. Being a program that also aims at empowering communities, we have also engaged 96,972 cooks with over 100,000 small-scale farmers being part of the value chain, supplying locally sourced ingredients. So if the food attracts them to school, what makes them to stay is what we're now saying. Okay, we have brought them to the school. Is the school environment conducive for learning? A lot of them, when we started, they stay at the windows, lining the windows, looking at all other children eating. Then gradually they come in and sit down and partake and they run. But now, most of them have enrolled and have even registered. They, however, responded to alleged ill treatment meted on school children in some states. Doing this, and you could post it, and now, you know, that's one of the advantages, or rather, disadvantages of technology, is that these things goes viral, and bad news just travel twice as fast as any good news, right? But we have monitors on the ground, they are going around and they are checking these things. We have never had a report like this, but we see these things and then we take it seriously because nothing ever skips us because you never know. We are feeding in 49,000 schools, anything could be happening in any one of these places. But we are not saying nobody has sanctioned, nobody was sanctioned by this office to treat any pupil, any human being this way. But it could just be anybody. This is certainly not from SIP, but we would investigate it. We will continue investigating it. But you see, the school feeding program is expected to run till the year 2020. Frederick Idehai and Maruf Adetunji, Roots TV, Abuja.